Hello everybody, my name is Bussy Combs, and welcome back to more Minecraft Hardcore. Last episode, me and B, we took a dive into the caves, which is where we are right now, and we ran out of torches, so I would like to get my- Whoa! Ah! Yes! It was thunderstorming as well last time I was on, and it jump scared me just like that! Um, so, today, I'd like to try to focus to getting out of these caves with B, and then after that, I would like to go on ahead and start working on my home some more. Now, one thing you guys made abundantly clear last episode is that- Oh, yeah! Ha 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 ha! Stupid, smelly, freak, no, B! I heard a foot. Where, what was that? What was that foot? I think that was B. Um, I lost my train of thought! Um, oh my gosh! <laughs> There's just an absolute war going on up there. Um, what was I saying? Uh, I, I guess I'll just restart. Basically, I want to work on my house today. You guys made it super duper clear that I missed some diamonds last episode. And I have an excuse. And I think it's a valid excuse. I have shaders on. And I increased the brightness for you guys. So I'm, I'm just going to show you a side by side of the things I missed last episode. And I'm, I'm just going to say that's my excuse. So what I would like to do is I want to get out of the cave. I'm, I'm very curious to see if there are any more diamonds down here because I would not be against more diamonds, but I don't think there are any. I still have my axolotl buddy, so... Oh yeah, uh, if you guys have any names for my axolotl friend, you know, this little guy right here, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Uh, he's a little brown axolotl, and he is so cute, and he really likes to murder fish. Uh, we learned that last time. I don't remember where I came from, to be honest. Maybe I came from here? No. But, we got ourselves some lapis, and I like me some lapi. <gasps> I hear a baby zombie. And a witch. I do not like that. I do not like that one bit. Oh my gosh. Hopefully it's not anywhere close. Maybe it's in like another cave system. So my torches are on the right side here. So I think I came from this way. One thing to really keep in mind is that navigation is not my strong suit whatsoever. I am the worst at navigating anything. Caves aren't going to be any easier for me, so <laughs> hopefully I can find my way out. I left all of my torches on the right side of the cave. That way I can follow them and keep them to my left when I'm trying to leave. So hopefully that works. Hopefully I can get out with that. If not, that's a small problem. It seems kind of dark over here, so I don't know if I've been here, especially seeing how much iron there is, but I guess I'll grab it while I'm over here. Why not? I do need iron. I am here for a mining trip after all, so I might as well keep up the work. <laughs> Jeez, this thunderstorm is going crazy. It's just, it's not really giving itself any breaks. I hope there's no, oh gosh, I really hope my house didn't catch fire. Can you imagine if my house caught fire while I'm down here? Or there's a forest fire? I, I think I, I left fire spreads on because I do like having the risk of that, but maybe it was a bad idea. <laughs> there's a mine shaft up there. Hmm. What Y am I on? I'm on Y24. I'm still pretty far from the surface. I don't think that mine shaft is going to take me though. I, I don't think that's going to get me up top. I'm going to go back down this way. See if I can find the path I took to get here in the first place. Oh, gold. Hello. I like you. Thank you. Where did I come from? No, not here. My torches are on the right here, so that means I had to have come from somewhere over this way. There's a, there are a couple torches here, too. Is there, like, a sneaky spot I got from? Maybe? Oh! I think this might be... Oh, this is it! I found the way out, I think. Maybe. At least the way out of this spot of the cave. Oh my gosh, the thunderstorm is crazy! So this is taking me further down. But it goes down and then it goes up, I'm pretty sure. Oh yes! I remember leaving these torches here! <laughs> it was like my little marker to say that I've been here. Are there any diamonds over here? Just a quick little peek. No harm in checking. Doesn't seem like it. So, let's go right here and follow this back. Looks like I came this way. I think this is pretty familiar. Let, let's go all the way up here, because I'm pretty sure this is the spot where I fell. Oh, there's a lot of fish in this little waterfall. <laughs> oh gosh, this is a... Um... You know what? Have a little bit of a snack, my friend. Maybe. Are you gonna- are you gonna eat them? No? Okay. Never mind. We're not gonna let you snack. Not right now, at least. Okay, so... I know... Should be a way out somewhere, right? Or is this not the way... Where am I? Where did I come from? 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna go this way, maybe. The mine shaft up there. Maybe I came from the mine shaft here. Uh, I'm gonna try to get up there. Here's zombies. Maybe, th maybe this isn't where I went. Maybe I shouldn't go up here. Where did I come from? Um, let's see. Anything over here? No, definitely not over here. It's way too dark. So I'm gonna go this way. But this is too dark too. I'm so lost. This is definitely not it either. Oh, wow. Should I resort to digging? Maybe I should resort to digging. Um, yeah. Oh! B! Oh my gosh. I... I'm gonna resort to digging. And I have a spare pickaxe. That's fine. That broken one is okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll find some coal on my way up. But this is too confusing. I'm very lost. So, yep. I, I, I'll just dig to the surface. We don't have to worry about being so... Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna do this just so nothing can, like, come up. B should teleport to me shortly, so it's all good. But I'm gonna get to the surface. And we'll be happy and safe up there. <laughs> I hope. Oh? Oh, we, we've got some clay, which maybe means we'll get to the opening of a, of the lush cave somewhere? Ah, uh ah. -huh. No, we, we just found ourselves another mine shaft, so I'm gonna block this off. We're good now, so let's keep going, B. I don't see any coal, so that's sad. I don't want to deal with the mine shaft. They're just... No, B! This is the cave spider room. We don't want that. Oh, it's right there! B! Oh my gosh. My dog is insane. Come on, B. What are you doing? Oh my gosh, that was way too risky, my girl. Way too risky. Now, I'm kind of curious, though, with that out of the way. Is it just... I don't want to go anywhere else, so this is just kind of a little sag spot right here. <laughs> well, ah, what? Oh, an opening. That's good. Is this, is this a familiar? Oh, I think this might be a familiar opening. Yes, it is. B, you found our way out. I hear fish dying. Oh. Guacamole. That is such a deep drop. Let's be careful about this. I can jump that. Oh, we're, we're back at the geode. Uh, we'll have to lift that later because my inventory is really full right now. But it's good to know. And there's the surface right there. And it appears to be nighttime. And we got a little bit of a zombie horde coming for us. So let's just... <gasps> Creeper. You can just stay down there. I'll just start swimming up, maybe. Where am I swimming? Where am I going? Oh! Hello, wandering trader. You don't have anything that interests me, but thank you for your offers. So, it's night time, unluckily. So this means we gotta find our way back home quickly and make sure we stay safe. Oh, hi, spiders. I'll, I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight anybody today. Is it gonna be sunrise soon? No, it just turned night. Awesome. So home is over this way by the mountain. Come on, B. We gotta hurry. We need to sleep. You don't want to be stuck out here. Please, please, please. No creepers. No scary mobs. I want, I want to stay safe. Definitely seems like the thunderstorm is over, so <laughs> that's nice. Hopefully everything's intact. I don't... I, I highly doubt anything caught fire, but just in case, I should probably uh, scout out the surrounding area once I get myself slept up. Treetop parkour. Woo! Ow! Never mind, treetop falling. Oh, I see light. We're back at the torch site. Oh, that's great. That's so great. I like it here. <laughs> I feel a lot safer when I have lights around. It feels a lot less scary. And a lot of my crops are grown, so I'll have to harvest those as soon as I empty my inventory and whatnot. And sleep away the gang night. Hopefully I lit up my area enough to where there's no hostile mobs by my bed. I would be very upset if there are. Safe and sound? Sure looks like it. Here's my bed. And we can sleep. Nice and peaceful night. And we're back in the morning. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right. So with my mining trip over, I'm going to clear out my inventory just a wee bit uh, as much as I can. Um, I need coal. That's a big concern right now. But before I worry about that, I'm actually going to make myself some diamond armor. And I have just enough to completely kit myself out. Ah, oh, I feel so much safer already. Look at me, I'm all blue and sparkly. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. So, I want another chest. So I'll make another chest because I do not have room in 
chests I currently have. B, get back over here, please. I'm going to repair you because you took a couple of falls. There we go. All nice. And my axolotl. Where should I put my axolotl? Hmm. I need more water for the little guy, I think. I wonder. Maybe I could plant him with my crops for now. But uh, for now, let me just dump out everything I can. I don't have coal to smelt things, so I can't really do that right now. I do want more iron, though. Do I have any... I do have smelted iron, so that's good. I do have a lot of wheat, but as soon as I harvest my crops down here, I'm going to work on my home. My house up there. It's gonna see some progress. But first, first I must go down here and ow, harvest some crops. <laughs> Get myself some food. And also... My lovely little axolotl buddy. I'll set him in here for now. Although, actually, I haven't named him, so maybe maybe I'll scoop him up, actually. I'll, I'll keep him in my inventory for now. So, walking right back on those words. He's not gonna be in here for the time being. That'll be a future thing, but maybe I'll have him a home by then, so we don't have to set him with my crops. <laughs> all right, and my crops are all harvested, so... I jump all of this stuff in here, and now it's time for me to make some house progress. Alright, so last time I left off, we were experimenting with how we want this to look, and I've actually gotten a lot of really awesome feedback and comments with suggestions, so I'm gonna pull some of those up right now and just pop them on screen. Thank you to every single one of you who gave me your thoughts and feedback because you are appreciated. And it helps me so much with making everything look good or supposedly look good because I personally don't think I'm a, all that awesome of a builder. But the fact that you guys enjoy my stuff, that makes me really happy. And I have chests in here. How, how awkward. Right. So we got some jungle. I think this is all I need right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to climb up here and I'm going to set B up in the house. So you're going to sit down. And really quickly, what I would... I have... I, oh, okay, so I have got a bit of brainstorming. I'm going to take this down right here. Not going to exist anymore. And what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to have myself just kind of a little opening, I think. So let's see. So I'm just going to have like a little, a little balcony-esque thing. We're not going to have a wall over on this side. So we can just kind of look down into the world. And um, I think for my roof... I, I did get a suggestion saying that maybe I should try leaves for a roof. I think I'm going to try that, but I'm also going to have some some oak with it too. Let's see. Can I get my scaffolding over here? If I make it go up a little bit and I take my oak and let's do, do a nice little thing right here. And we'll have a nice little pointy roof over on the side and we'll, re we'll reflect it over here as well. And... Let's take a peek and see how this looks from down below. Can't really tell if that's good or bad. I might lower it by one or two blocks and make it a little bit more snug. But I don't think it looks that bad. I honestly can't really tell as I mentioned. Uh, I feel like I'm, I don't really have like the best of angles to look at it from. <laughs> but that's all right. Let's take this down a notch. <gasps> oh, ow, that was silly. <laughs> Oops, okay. Let's get back up there. So I've shifted it down a little bit. It feels cozier from here. I think it looks pretty good. Now let's take a look at it from the floor. <laughs> I get that. I get that. That was silly, but it was good. It felt really cool. Oh, actually, I have a lot of string. So let me destroy some of the bamboo around here, right? And then with this bamboo, I'm going to get the string up right here. I have 61 string and let's make some more scaffolding. Because I only have, like, what, 12 or something right now? Which is, it feels very insufficient. So, 41 is much more impressive. And I get to get a nicer look at my house with this, too. So, let's build it up. And from up here... Okay. I like that. I do like that. That feels nice and cozy. Oh, um... I should probably eat. <laughs> let's just get down. Take the scaffolding back. I, I, I like the roof color, so I think I'm going to stick with that. Uh, the floor color is spruce. I do like that. I'm going to take my bed and... Actually, no. I'm going to have a different bed for up there. That way I can just sleep while I'm up top. Do I have Do I have wool? I don't have wool. I have a shear, though. But all the sheep are far away because that little rascal ate them all. I don't see any. Yeah, he, he totally ate all the nearby sheep. That sucks. A lot. Oh, well. So... Okay, I guess I'll take the bed with me. 
And let's go back up and do some more building. So we've got this cute little thing right here. And as one of you guys suggested, let me, let me pull up the name. And as MD Strange suggested, uh, they want me to have some leaves on my roof or like a bit of an integration of leaves and wood. And I really, really like that idea. So I'm going to kind of fill this in a bit, make it feel very leafy. Um, it's not all going to be wood because it is a tree house after all and we don't want it to just all be wood so let's see let's do a little f5 i like that that feels cute and we what we can do is we can have it kind of bulk up a bit more along here right here let's get a little thing right here right let's try that oh is it is it dark enough for me to sleep We're, we really need a balcony somewhere to see this over here i just missed the sunset which is devastating we don't want to miss the sunset anymore <laughs> all right and with gay back what we want to do now is let me just place this right here i think i want to extend the roof a bit more a couple pieces of wood as well just squeeze it in oh i am out of oak planks but that's fine i have plenty of oak to go around how does this feel i think this feels nice and cozy oh a very important thing i've lapsed on up here though is torches imagine i climb up there and the creeper's just waiting for me that would be awful so i'm going to get a couple pieces of wood and we are going to smelt it let's get like what let's get 20 pieces of charcoal 22 and we'll have that smelting while we're building and we'll come back down later and fetch it how's this feel over here i think this feels nice let's get let's get some leaves and let's get some more slabs i think this feels cute oh, i like it and let's get rid of this fine right here yeah that's cozy and so what i will do is i'll have it close off like that and then let's think what we need right in this corner is we need some jungle we'll place that and i don't think we really need the balcony but as some of you recommended i would like to implement a planter and so the planter will be like this maybe or maybe i should have it lower i'll have it lower let's do this and then i don't have anything to put on top of it but wait actually what if what if what if instead of a planter we just have some leaves and maybe at some point i can have it like add some like little droopiness to it right now uh this is a uh, actually wait i have my scalping what am i saying i can do it um let me get down there real fast and try to get some scaffolding down if we take some scaffolding right here let's go up and i wanna there we go that's all i wanted to do <laughs> okay so now we go back we go back up to the top <gasps> oh, oh my gosh pringles why did you creeper hiss at me is there a creeper around? He hissed a couple of times. That's not good. Oh, you know what? Let's actually take my birds upstairs. Let's take them up to my little home. I hope that doesn't make a creeper spawn up there. Surely no creeper spawn up there. Surely we're fine. I'm, I'm sure we're fine. Uh, let's get some torches so we can light it up up there. And then let me eat some food. And I'll take my birds up there with me. I got mango sitting up, right? Is mango sitting up? No, mango's not sitting up. There we go, mango. Let's go. Let's get you upstairs. <laughs> to the safety of my home okay good nothing spawned up here let's get a couple torches down so this this is a cozy little spot right here we got a nice little window perfect and then bird come here my burb let's sit you down and then pringles we can sit you down too maybe okay i guess you can sit you right there <laughs> all right so what i think i'm gonna do over on this side is this i think is also going to be a bit of an open viewing platform because we have these leaves right here and i don't kind of i kind of don't want to destroy them they feel really nice and cozy so we'll leave that open aha we're getting a home finally <laughs> maybe maybe i will have a bit of a wall coming out to here and we'll have fences on top of it like so that way it feels a little bit extra safe and these guys don't jump off if they ever get the opportunity to and then from here what i would like to do is i'll carve off a little bit of the jungle tree right here so i can have some spruce right there and this is going to become a pathway over to this way so let's get some more spruce into slabs i want slab and let's just start working on that how can i make it safe i do i don't want to risk falling off so oh you know what i could have leaves i'll have leaves making it safe and then i'll i'll keep doing these um fences alongside like that 
That might look shabby, but who cares if it doesn't look good, right? <laughs> as long as it's safe. So I think right here, we're gonna bring up my furnaces and we're gonna figure out a place for my chest room at some point too. Do I have any more furnaces or is it... What? Oh, there's an ocelot! <laughs> Hello! Oh, it's probably gonna run away, but where'd it go? It went somewhere. Oh, I had an ocelot run through my area. That's so exciting. <laughs> okay, um, let's take this. I don't think I have any more furnaces. I think it's just the one for now, so... I'll craft more some other time. But for now, you will go right here. And so, I think this is actually the conclusion of the main area of my home. If you guys do like it, definitely let me know in the comments down below. If there's anything you think I can do to improve it, let me know that too. I do know I'm definitely planning on extending this over to here. Maybe having a bedroom looping around this trunk over here and just getting a nice view of the sunset where my bed is going to be. But for now, my home is completed to a satisfactory point. It is livable. And actually, before I end things, I think I need one final touch. And that is a door. <laughs> I'm not really sure how I feel about the door in this texture pack for jungle wood, but it works. So... We'll live with it. <laughs> Anyways, though, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Minecraft Hardcore. If you guys did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Comment your feedback. Let me know what your favorite moment of today was. And I guess I will see you all in my next episode. Bye-bye!